the PRC's genocide in Xinjiang, its abuses in Tibet, its smothering of Hong Kong's autonomy and freedoms, and its bullying of Taiwan are unjust and must stop. Beijing's recent actions against Taiwan are especially objectionable. The United States is right to continue its one China policy, but we're also right to support the peaceful resolution of disputes in this region and to oppose unilateral actions that undermine the status quo and undermine the stability of the region. The administration and Congress, together on a bipartisan basis, should help Taiwan to maintain a self-defense capability, and that's the language of the Taiwan Relations Act of 1979. We obviously cannot trust China to meet the commitments it's made on the Taiwan issue. We have to be aware of their rhetoric, aware of it, and the rhetoric of its leader and many other Chinese uh, leaders in recent months has been that they intend to take back Taiwan. Our responsibility is to make Taiwan a tough nut to crack, help it increase its asymmetric defenses through the Taiwan Relations Act, and other countries can do that as well. It's a central issue in the relationship now. The People's Republic of China is not an Olympian power. It's a country of extraordinary strength, but it also has substantial weaknesses and challenges demographically, economically, politically. We should have confidence in our strengths, American strengths, confidence in our values that stand in brilliant opposition to China's authoritarian regime. That, as a third venture, we ought to be asking, and we are asking our allies, to show a real commitment to Taiwan. We're seeing